What's up everyone? This is Ben from The Biggest. And we're here today checking out 15 of the biggest animals in India. From lizards, snakes, bats, and crocodiles, to tigers, rhinos, and elephants. Let's go! Number 15, the Asian giant hornet. It's actually the smallest animal that's starting off the list. But relative to other eusocial wasps, this is the largest hornet in the world. Their bodies can measure nearly two inches long with a wingspan of three inches. A stinger measuring about one quarter inch long injects a powerful venom that can cause kidney damage. In extreme cases, fatalities can occur. In addition to India, these beasts are found in Thailand, China, and Japan, among other countries. Number 14, the Indian flying fox. One of the world's largest bats, this is a species of flying fox that can weigh about 3.5 pounds, with a body measuring more than 8.5 feet. Its wingspan is tremendous at just under 5 feet. Thousands of them can be seen roosting in treetops during the day. That sight, along with their physical traits, can give them a fearsome appearance. But they're generally regarded as gentle giants and are known to roost near human residences and urban areas. Since they feed mainly on fruit, these animals will occasionally raid fruit orchards. That's led to them being regarded as vermin in some areas of India. But many argue that their destructive tendencies are offset by the important role these animals play in seed propagation. Seeds of the fruits eaten are dispersed through the animal's guano. You get the idea. Experts say that about 300 plant species in India rely on the bat's services. Number 13, Indian Giant Squirrel. Along with its size, the coloration of these squirrels is a distinguishing trait. They have a coloration that is two-toned. The underparts are often cream-colored, while the upper parts can range from tan to dark brown. They're large-bodied rodents that can measure about 36 inches for the head and body. The tail is about two feet long, weighing close to four and a half pounds they travel by leaping nearly 20 feet from tree to tree in the upper forest canopy. Since the rodents rarely leave that environment, their size makes them targets for birds of prey. But instead of fleeing, these animals will freeze and flatten themselves against the tree trunk until the threat has passed. Number 12, the King Cobra. Weighing about 13 pounds on average, this reptile isn't as big as some other critters we'll talk about, but it does have a big reputation for being one of the world's deadliest animals. Even though they're called cobras, this is a separate species that occupies its own genus. The longest verified specimens have exceeded 19 feet and weighed nearly 30 pounds, but they usually measure about 13 feet long which is enough to make them the world's longest venomous snakes. While they usually avoid confrontations with humans, they can become dangerous if provoked. Thanks to their length, these serpents can strike from a long distance while delivering several bites in a single attack. Their venom has a legendary toxicity and can produce fatalities within 30 minutes. How do humans fare against it? Let's put it this way. King cobra venom is known to kill elephants within hours. They're endemic to forests of the subcontinent and serve as the national reptile of India. And they are also the inspiration for the Pokemon Arbok, which is cobra backwards. Number 11, Bengal monitors. These lizards are found throughout the Indian subcontinent and are widely distributed elsewhere. Overall, they can occur from Iran to Indonesia. Weighing more than 15 pounds, this species does most of its hunting on the ground. While they usually go after arthropods, including scorpions, they'll also prey on ants and beetles, among other invertebrates. Larger adults have been known to stalk roosting bats by climbing up vertical tree trunks. Forests with large trees and high ground cover is their habitat of choice. It's unlikely you'll spot one of these lizards because they're not territorial and they shy away from humans. 
but they can monitor you pretty well. Experts say the reptiles can detect humans from about 820 feet away. Number 10, Reticulated Python. Recognized as the world's longest snake, this serpent also ranks as one of the three heaviest extant snakes. They can exceed 20 feet in length and weigh nearly 170 pounds. Much larger sizes have been reported, but never officially verified. Those reports inspired the wildlife conservation to underwrite a $50,000 reward for a living, healthy reticulated python that measures more than 30 feet long. To date, no attempt to claim the reward has ever been made. These non-venomous constrictors are the largest snakes that are native to Asia and are found throughout a wide range of countries. In addition to living in rainforests and woodlands, this species is known for living near lakes and streams. They're excellent swimmers and have even colonized small islands within their range. While man-eating pythons have not been reported in India, it's a different story with Indonesia. In that country, two cases of humans being consumed by reticulated pythons have been verified. Number nine, Gharial. Also known as the fish-eating crocodile, it's native to the northern part of India and is typically found in sandy riverbanks. They are distinguished by a long, narrow snout that's filled with 110 sharp teeth and is well adapted for catching fish. These reptiles are some of the longest crocodilians, reaching 20 feet long while weighing about 350 pounds on average. Imagine finding that in your swimming pool. The bulbous structure at the end of the snout inspired the animal's name. That structure, or boss, has a shape similar to an earthenware pot that's called a gara in Hindi. The growth is thought to be linked to several mating behaviors. At one point, gharials inhabited almost every major river system in northern India. Now, they occupy about 2% of their historical range, and the species is considered critically endangered. Number eight, Asiatic lion. There's only one place in India where you'll find these animals, and that's the Gir Forest National Park, located in the western part of the country. These critters once had a much greater range. Until the 19th century, they were found in Turkey and Mesopotamia, and throughout central India. While they resemble lions from Africa, there are some notable differences. Their manes are moderately sized, making their ears visible. At around 420 pounds, they're smaller than the larger African lions and have a total length that's less than nine and a half feet. Even though they might seem small by lion standards, these beasts are known to take down prey that weighs more than 1,200 pounds. That includes water buffalo, cattle, and sometimes camels. Number seven, blue bull. In India, this animal is known as Nilgai. Translated to English, it means blue bull, hence the common name. Did you know Hindus have revered them as sacred animals since at least 1500 BC? As adults, the male's pelt displays a bluish-gray coloration. Females and juveniles have coats that are more tawny or orange. They are endemic to the subcontinent and are the largest Asian antelopes. Males can weigh around 640 pounds and stand about five feet high at the shoulder. While they're mostly tame, these animals will gallop away at the first hint of danger. Experts say they'll run as far as 2,300 feet away from the perceived threat. While they occur in the grasslands and scrublands of India, that's not the only place they're found. In the 1920s, a herd of the animals was introduced to Texas. Since then, the number of these critters in the Lone Star State has increased to around 30,000 individuals. Try roping one of these guys at the rodeo. Number six, Royal Bengal Tiger. These big cats are thought to have inhabited the Indian subcontinent for over 16,000 years and are the country's national animal. Unfortunately, these animals are listed as endangered due to factors that include poaching and habitat destruction. Bengal tigers are among the largest cats in the wild, weighing more than 700 pounds and measuring more than 10 feet, including the tail. 
They inhabit tropical and subtropical forests in addition to shrubs and long grass of riverbanks. Their stripes help camouflage the tigers as they stalk their prey, which is usually medium to large animals, including guar. But I still wouldn't cross them. You wouldn't make a meal, but you might make a tasty afternoon snack. Did you know that Bengal tigers can eat nearly 90 pounds of food at one time? Number five, dromedary camels. Camels with two humps are known as Bactrian camels. The species with one hump is known as dromedaries. Upwards of one million individuals are estimated to live in India. They can weigh over 1,300 pounds and stand more than six and a half feet high at the shoulder. Thanks to their power and tameness, the animals have long been used for purposes including riding, plowing, and transport. Did you think their hump stores water? It doesn't. The hump stores about 80 pounds of fat the animal uses for energy when resources are scarce. Number four, saltwater crocodiles. Here's a beast that needs no introduction. It's often identified with Australia, but the world's largest extant reptile occurs in many other places, and that includes India. They're often found in brackish waters of the country's east coast, but rarely occur in other parts of the subcontinent. Along with the gharial and the mugger crocodile, it's one of three crocodilians that show up in India. This is the biggest of the lot, weighing upwards of 2,400 pounds and measuring about 20 feet long. That's as heavy as a small car and nearly twice as long. Experts say these critters are so widely distributed because of their aggressive, territorial nature. When dominant males are entrenched in creeks and streams, junior specimens must expand into outlying areas to seek prey. Number three, guar. This one is also known as the Indian bison, and it's the world's largest living bovine. These creatures are massive, weighing more than 3,300 pounds while measuring nearly 11 feet long, not including the tail. Standing more than seven feet high at the shoulder, the guar also qualifies as the world's tallest wild cattle species. This is not your average bull. Given how huge and powerful these animals are, they're said to be relatively shy when encountering humans and will run off. But in areas of South India, the animals have become used to humans. Locals say that guar bulls can be aggressive and will sometimes charge without being provoked. Number two, Indian rhino. Both sexes of this species have horns, but each rhino has a single horn that's colored black and is made out of keratin, like your fingernails. Those horns can measure up to 14 inches long and weigh close to seven pounds. This critter ranks second in a couple of categories when it comes to size. After the Indian elephant, it's the world's largest mammal on land, and it's the world's second largest extant rhino behind the white rhinoceros. The largest specimens have been documented to weigh more than 8,800 pounds and stand almost 12 and a half feet tall at the shoulder. While they're bulky, these animals are graceful swimmers and can run at speeds of 34 miles per hour over short distances. Did you know this rhino's thick skin has a pinkish coloration? It's due to a large number of blood vessels underneath the folds of its skin, which regulate body temperature. And number one, Indian elephant. Not much of a surprise having this beast at number one. There are currently three elephant species recognized. Two are from Africa and the third is from Asia. This one is a subspecies of the latter elephant and is found throughout India and the mainland of Asia. They're smaller than their African counterparts, but have larger trunks and broader skulls. In some cases, their appearance has been compared to mammoths and stegodons, ancient creatures related to elephants. The largest specimens can stand more than 11 feet high at the shoulder and weigh around 11,000 pounds. And people used to train elephants for war. These guys were the unstoppable tanks of ancient battles. The largest specimens can stand more than 11 feet high at the shoulder and weigh around 11,000 pounds, experts say. These animals inhabit tropical lowland forests to cooler mountain forests at elevations close to 10,000 feet. 
I hope you enjoyed the 15 biggest animals in India. Hit that subscribe button to get more awesome videos from the biggest.